Hey everybody, welcome to another weekly walkthrough. Today we will be looking at 16 Highcroft Road in Barrie. It's a nice little side split. Looks like it's set up to be a duplex. Not sure if it's registered though, um, but not the end of the world if it isn't. Before we get into it though, head down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to stay updated with all of our content and hit that like button as well while you're down there. So, as for mentioned, 16 Highcroft Road, you're in the Allendale area, which is essentially South Barry, um, pretty well true south, maybe slightly southeast, but pretty well true. So Keller Williams, currently vacant. They do have an open house Saturday from 12 till 2. So if you're not busy with Thanksgiving dinner and whatnot, go and check it out. Um, three beds up, wooden kitchen, but let's just take a look at it. So right off the rip, decent size windows because it's a side split. Um, I say side split. Yeah. Losing my mind here for a second. Um, yes, because it's a side split, decent windows. You will usually end up with sometimes better windows in a raised bungalow, but side split is pretty well the same thing for basement height um but a little bit because your floor is right about there ish which is what allows you to get such big windows but great curb appeal great interior um looks like it's all been updated for the most part throughout nice and clean nice and neat Little dining area. Now that I'm mentioning it, or now that I'm saying that it looks clean and neat, I don't... This furniture doesn't look real. <laughs> I think it has to be, just because of the angles. And maybe I've just been too paranoid about it, but like, for Pete's sakes. Um, like this chair looks flat sitting here and I wouldn't have looked at it any other way except that table just, I don't know. And I could be completely mistaken. It could all be completely normal. The more angles that I'm showing, the more I feel like I'm just losing my marbles. <laughs> Let me get my tinfoil hat real quick. But regardless... It's a great space, huge windows up on the main floor, nice little kitchen area with your laundry just off the side. So you've got walkout from the kitchen. You'll notice that this right hand side is covered up. We will be covering that a little bit later. This is, yeah, so if you're in the kitchen, you back up. Essentially, we came in just through this right-hand side. You turn left, there's that living area. We walked around the kitchen. And so this is basically your main entryway where you can go down to essentially the basement apartment or upstairs to the bedrooms, which is where we are now. It's a bathroom, not a bedroom, but it's all clean. It's all bright. It's all neat. Good sized everything, windows, rooms. All looks good. Width of this room, a little smaller, but you still get, you should get a queen in here, no problem with a nightstand. Uh, with a king might be a little tough, but into the basement apartment. Looks like it might be a bachelor. Because it's, it's almost like, hold on. So you go down here onto tile with a table. So where is this in comparison, I wonder? Because this is the front of the house. So you basically come downstairs and you're walking into this room. So, but it's a good sized room anyway. Um, you've got kind of your eating area. If this is what they're calling a kitchen, that's hogwash. 
in my opinion. You're missing a stove, which that might be the hookup for one, but it's obviously that was their intention. Okay, so you walk, do you walk down the stairs into here? And then if you go right, you're into that bedroom. I think that's what it is. Um, you're going to need to do some baseboard work. Looks like you've got some cracks and stuff running up your trim. Ceiling height looks a little... Mm, maybe it's not that low. <sighs> then again, it might be. You might be looking at like a six and a half foot ceiling. Maybe seven if you're lucky, but I don't think it's seven. Um, more kind of finishings that you need to put in. So while the main floor is pretty fantastic, um, trim, just some exposed stuff, just an oddly placed painting. Um, finish my train of thought. While the, while the main floor is pretty solid, the basement, I think needs a decent amount of work. It's inhabitable and a lot of people will just rent that out as is, but personally I'd want to spruce it up. Um, so this is what was blocking the window in the walkout upstairs. It's your path down to your basement apartment, which is just kind of slapped onto the side. Fantastic backyard, very large, bunch of space. Fire pit, a lot of sand there. <laughs> Like they basically just said, we're going to put beaches in to make up for the fact that we don't take care of our lawn. But, yep, there's Allendale, got Innisdale, 400 somewhere over there. I think that's the 400. I'd have to look at the map from, from above. Hammerfell Bay, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So price-wise, you're looking at 689. I think it's a tad high. The main floor is definitely carrying the property. The fact that it is an income property is always good, but you are only looking at 676 square feet in the basement. Reason being it's that small is because of the fact that it's a side split. Your structure layout for the house is like one floor here, one floor here, and then one floor down here. Whereas opposed to with a bungalow, you've got the same up as down. Here it's closer to, like, if you shifted this up, you'd be like one and a half stories, and then you're renting out the half, if that makes sense. Um, I think it's a solid property for anyone who's interested in living on the main floor and renting out the basement. I don't know if I'd want to live in the basement and rent out the upstairs. The people upstairs definitely have <laughs> the much better deal, in my opinion. But taxes are fine for Barry overall. It's got a lot of good and i think if the right person comes in just touches up the basement maybe fixes some things like the way the walk down to the basement is um like just cleaning that up a bit maybe making it so it's not just wooden lattice i don't know if i'd i'd almost have a tendency to either remove that door to make this just a single here or get rid of as much of this lattice as you could to help open up the backyard like that second door again for upstairs um but yeah it, it just everything but the main floor needs a good bit of cleaning and some love and some touch-ups but overall i think it's a pretty solid property somewhere around 650 675 probably perfectly fine um like i said you're not getting the full 1300 square feet in like use of space you're just renting out that 676 which while rent is high i don't think it's quite high enough that you're going to be able to super help carry uh that mortgage but like i said uh keller williams experience they have an open house on saturday from 12 till 2 you guys have any other questions about anything please reach out to us reach out to anyone else reach out to whomever you want i don't care 
I'm just here to show you some properties that I find interesting. Before I go, head on down to the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the property. Do you think 16 Highcroft is way too highly priced? Do you think I'm off my rocker outside of the fake furniture thing uh, <laughs> with thinking that it's currently overpriced? Let me know down below. While you're there, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content and hit that like button on your way back up. That's it for me here today, guys. Hope you have yourselves a wonderful weekend, a happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.